Hello, 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 hello everybody and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today our news, uh, our topic is kind of a little bit different. So, uh, I don't know how many of you are from the state, I'm from USA, but you know, a country like USA have an impact of everybody almost in the world. Uh, the liberals, the left, and the Muslims, they all join together against Trump. Trump was always somebody present a person who is not to not a good news, you know, simply. I mean, the left and the Muslim, both of them, they hate Trump for a very simple reason. First of all, he is not against Christianity. Not only that, he sponsor and he support Christian values. Not only that, he brought judges to the Supreme Court. Not only that, he fight for speech or freedom of speech, which mean me, someone like me, can say Muhammad is nothing but a liar. And that is not a good news for the Muslims and for the left. The left and the Muslim, they share the same thing. Both of them, they have almost the same agenda. The agenda of the left is to silence anyone who is not politically correct. The Muslims, their agenda is to silence anyone who speak against Islam. And here, if you speak against Islam, you will not be politically correct. And that's exactly why the Muslims and the left, they find themselves in bed together. Today, uh, we heard the news that after almost two or three years investigation against President Trump, they found that he have no guilt and he is good to go which means three years and they were hoping badly that they will find something against President Trump. It turned to be nothing but a scam and nothing but a lie and they come with nothing against him. Now, what that will do? A few days ago, President Trump, he signed an, uh, 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 an order which is every school and university and university in USA have to follow, which means if you don't follow, we are going to punish you, especially with money. I'm going to play part of his video so we will see what happened exactly and what Trump he decided to do for those who fight people like us. What is the consequence? Let us hear. I'm truly delighted to welcome so many impressive young Americans to the White House. This is a very exciting day. What we're doing is very important. And we're here to take historic action to defend American students and American values. They've been under siege. In a few moments, I will be signing an executive order to protect free speech on college campuses. Just the thought of it sounds good. We're grateful. <laughs> to We're very grateful to be joined today by Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos. Betsy, where are you, Betsy? Hi, Betsy. Hey, Betsy. And Secretary of Health and Human Services, who's done a really great job. We have prescription drugs prices coming down, first time in 51 years. So, Alex Azar, thank you very much, Alex. Most importantly, let me thank all of the college students and recent graduates here with me on stage, incredible young people. These courageous Americans have stood up for the forces of political indoctrinations, and they really stood up to it, too, like very few people have been able to. Censorship and coercion. You refuse to be silenced by powerful institutions and close-minded critics of which there are many. You face down intimidation, pressure, and abuse. You did it because you love your country and you believe in truth, justice, and freedom. And I want to thank you all, everybody in the room, including a lot of folks in the audience, Charlie, a lot of folks. 
You've fought bravely for your rights, and now you have a president who is also fighting for you. I'm with you all the way. Okay? All right? All right. In America, the very heart of the university's mission is preparing students for life as citizens in a free society. But even as universities have received billions and billions of dollars from taxpayers, many have become increasingly hostile to free speech and to the First Amendment. You see it all the time. You turn on the news and you see things that are horrible. You see people being punched hard in the face. But he didn't go down. <laughs> I said, you have a better chin than Muhammad Ali, and he had a <laughs> And you see the cowbell scene. You saw that horrible scene. That was a disgraceful thing at a school, at a university. Under the guise of speech codes and safe spaces and trigger warnings, these universities have tried to restrict free thought, impose total conformity, and shut down the voices of great young Americans like those here today. It's great people. All of that change is starting right now. We're dealing with billions and billions and billions of dollars. Taxpayer dollars should not subsidize anti-First Amendment institutions. And that's exactly what they are, anti-First Amendment. Universities that want taxpayer dollars should promote free speech, not silence free speech. All right, you know, I'm not going to play all of it. But here you notice that the, the, uh, the left agenda they speak too much about democracy, but if you don't speak what they like to hear, they even beat you and use violence. And we find that this is exactly, they share the same value with, the, with, with, with Muhammad. If you don't agree with Muhammad, he kill you. They could not get rid of, uh, of Trump that easy, so what they do? They accuse him that he won the election because he was associating with the Russian, and the Russian, they are the one who made him win the election. So maybe if we can come with something, maybe we can impeach him and get rid of him. And now after three years of long investigation, and all the investigators were from the left, which is very funny. I mean, have you ever heard of such an investigation? The only one who can investigate Trump is those who are in love with Hillary Clinton and her gangs. But yet, after three years of investigation, they come with nothing. So now Trump not only became victorious, it became a hilarious story because simply everybody now noticed that they were lying for three years and how disappointing that those who support and love the left, and I'm so glad they called themselves the left. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the left. I mean, even the name fit them perfectly. So the left cannot be the right and the right are right. I mean, this is how it is. Why, why, people, why, why does somebody call his right? You know what? I mean, when somebody agreed to call himself left, he just agreed to say that I am wrong. This is what, I, this is what left and right, right mean. So, uh, uh, after three years, lying about Trump, saying he is a person who committed treason, publishing thousands of news about the man who committed treason, a Trump, he will go to jail. A Trump, he is going, you know, he's a liar. He is, uh, he is doing his scandals. A Trump, he won the election by the Russian. A Trump, he come in you know, a treason. He is going, you know, he betrayed the country. Uh, he will sentence uh, to lifetime. A Trump, I mean, uh, thousands and thousands of articles, TV's hours, CNN, CBC, NBC, you name it, all the scumbag TV stations in the world, which is sponsored by the left. They could not come with anything better than just lying. And now we got them busted. They were waiting for this report, hoping that there's no way this guy is a businessman. I mean, this guy, he, he is like an octopus. He have fingers everywhere. 
There's no way he is mistake free. It's impossible. And actually, I, me myself, I believe it's impossible. I mean, how how somebody he have a, such a wealth, business everywhere, and they could not find something really against him. That is really strange. But uh, uh, taking a close look at this investigation, which run very deep, millions of documents were reviewed by people who hated Trump to death, and yet they could not find something. That's mean. They could not find anything. And for me, I believe this is a big victory for those who sponsor all things which is good. Freedom of speech, freedom of uh, being sarcastic, to say and speak your mind, and to go against or to support, which is the left obviously don't believe in that for they are communists, they are socialists, and they want to silence you. And the reason Trump, he was making the speech actually, as we see here, Trump, he was speaking about it because a guy, he was making a speech and a, a lady too. They start beating the guy. They did beat the guy. You know, they silence the women. I mean, they have no shame. If you remember when Trump, he won the election, those left minded people, they start burning stores, burning cars attacking stores and, and 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 stealing and yet they say that we are you know we are liberals i mean what is liberal about you what is what is liberalism these days mean they are exactly the same as the yellow vest in france they are a bunch of thieves if you are against the government why you burn a car in the street a car for a poor guy he god knows how he was able to buy his car why you are burning his car what this guy have to do with the prime minister you have or the president you have? If you are against a president, why you are attacking a store, an ice cream store? I mean, the guy, he spent his life maybe taking a mortgage to open this business, and now you are burning it for him into a second? Savagery, anger, stupidity is their flag. And this is exactly what they did with the Trump. If I go right now and let me see if I can find some videos for you from the history <clears throat> when Trump he won the election, you will not believe it. Let me find some videos. They start burning cars. Uh, 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 I mean, it, it's it's a madness. Uh, Democrats. Burning cars after Trump won. Let us see. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> uh, <coughs> um. Oh, I forgot. I cannot search for Democrat. They will not type that in the news. They will say angry protesters. Huh? You see, they, they will not say, they, they will not say, uh, they will not say Democrat. They will say angry protesters. <laughs> okay. They are angry protesters from what? From a guy who won the election in democratic way? And you lie because you could not believe that this guy, he won the election. So you start lying, saying the Russian, they made him win. I mean, how that can be? So, you see, I don't take a side. If Trump is a corrupt man, I will go against him. It doesn't matter who is he. When he do something wrong, I speak against him too. But the good news is that I voted for a person and I did the right decision. And actually, next election, I'm going to vote for him too. Not because Trump is the best man in the world, but we don't have something, someone better. Either you, you choose one of those crazy people from the left-minded people who want to turn America into a socialist country, communist country, Imagine they, they are talking about everybody to stop stop driving cars. I mean, have you? Can you believe that? 
so, so what we will do how do you go how do we go to work <laughs> You know, for those who do not know about America, America is not like uh, uh, not like Tokyo. Tokyo, everything, everywhere, the, everybody have an uh, like uh, underground. There is train. In America, it's not. But the city I am in, the same as a million cities in USA, there is no even buses. Which means, if you don't have a car, you go nowhere. And the bus go in one line in this in the town, and that's it. I mean, there's no buses, and, and the bus come once every few hours. So they they are mad. They 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 speak uh, amazing stupidity. Like the guy, his name is Bernie Sander. I don't know if you heard of him. Bernie Sander, he have a plan for you, young people. He will allow you to smoke marijuana and take drugs. So now everybody will go in the highway and he is high. And the police cannot arrest somebody for he is high in the highway. They will arrest you if you are a drunk, but if you are high, it's okay. Have you ever heard of a stupidity like this before? This is who they are. The Clinton actually, she is the one who sold all the uranium if you of USA to Russia. You believe it? They sold Trump, sorry, uh, uh, Clinton and Obama. They sold all the uranium to the Russian, and nobody accused him to be of treason. How you, how you, how you do that? <laughs> the Russian are the buyers. <laughs> So today the news is very, 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 very bad news for those who they are uh, anti Trump, who hate Trump. And, uh, you know, like I remember uh, when Trump, he won the election, those left are crying, unbelievable, that cannot be true. I mean, it was the most funny drama ever I saw in TV. I wish I can play for you some videos. You will die laughing. Their eyes is coming out like a frog. Their ears like an elephant. Their tail is like a cat, and she is biting it. Life on TV. There's a show. It's called the uh, uh, the Turk show. Uh, what, what they call him? The Turk. The Turk show. The guy during the election, and he's uh, by the way, this guy is a Muslim too, or he claimed to be an ex-Muslim, but he always he defend Islam. He said, he said. He said to the Democrat, "If you all, if you, from now on, I am not Democrat." And he start ripping papers and going crazy. Life in TV. <laughs> the young Turk, yeah, <laughs> the young Turk. <laughs> I mean, it is hilarious, and. I can imagine the coming election how hilarious is going to be because obviously this report not only now made them look like a bunch of fools Trump now he will earn more support because nobody trusts the Democrat no more nobody trusts them who can trust people who lie for us for three years, keep repeating uh, Trump, he committed treason, Trump, he won the election by the Russian, they have, we have evidence, we have a clear evidence, it's a, and then after three years, we find that all of this was nothing but a fart. Their evidence is the same as the evidence of Muhammad being a prophet. Thank you guys who was from Indonesia, from around the world. We love you and uh, I'm glad to have you here. Now, uh, the coming election in 2020 is going to have a huge impact by what happened today. Because what happened today was going to really have a very, very bad impact if it was negative for Trump. Which means, if this investigation they found that Trump is guilty of anything in the best scenario if they did not impeach Trump which mean take him off from the office and actually they can do that if they find something against him if the Republican joined them they can do that 
but now they have nothing. So now Trump, he stripped them from their weapon, and not only that, he have their lies as weapon against them, so nobody trusts them no more. I don't know if you know the story of that guy, the shepherd, who uh, 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 he screamed first time saying, there is a wolf, there is a wolf, there is a wolf, and the whole village came to see where is the wolf to support him. And when they came, he started laughing, ha ha, there's no wolf, I was joking. Second time, he screamed again, there's a wolf, there's a wolf. The whole village came to support him. And he said, ha ha, ha <laughs> I was joking. Now, third time, there was a wolf. And the wolf came and ate him. And he was screaming, but nobody came because they thought he is joking. So now the, 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 the Democrat, the left, all of them, nobody can take them seriously anymore. Regardless what Trump is going to do in the coming two years or the coming eight, six years after election of the, uh, the coming four years. So even if there is a wolf, nobody will believe them. Because after three years, lying, who in the world is going to believe in you? Who is the fool, even if he is Democrat? Actually, I will not be surprised if many of those who they are Democrat, they will leave this party because obviously this party is rotten and smells so bad. So when I saw the news today and I saw the report really, actually I was, I was really happy to see this. Because, you know, I felt good because we did not vote for a bad person. Secondly, he proved that he is trustworthy. Uh, and after all this investigation, they got no more excuse to lie about him. And now he stripped them from all their weapon. And this guy is doing a really great job. I mean, the economy is going really crazy in USA. Since this guy, he came on, you know, came in office, prices of houses are going up because business are making more money. People making more money. Uh, people paying le less tax. I mean, this guy is really a successful businessman. And which which really I don't like about him that he is a businessman, which means always he think about the country as a business, which me, myself, I don't like that. Because, you know, a country should not be run as a business. But this is his mentality. He's a businessman. Uh If, if if Trump, uh, actually, when I say if, I don't think it's going to be if. I'm sure he will win. But let us say Trump, he was going to go for the coming election for for sure because this is a tradition in USA. The same president stay in his office and then the opponent go against him. So what is going to happen in the last four years of a Trump presidency? I think those are the most let us say, uh, crazy years will be. You see, Trump is a very, very brave man. Look, there's many presidents before him. They said we are going to move the embassy from USA, from, uh, from uh, Tel Aviv into Jerusalem. And nobody dared to do that. Why? Because most of them, they have business with Arab businessmen, princes and queens, or kings, sorry. So because they are a bunch of corrupt people, they did not do what they promised. This guy, he do what he promised. So what is the promises of Trump he will do in the coming election? Already Trump, he announced that the Jolan height, in from, which is uh, uh, taken by the Israeli army from Syria uh, uh, many, many years ago, should belong to Israel. Now, in Europe, they don't agree with that because they don't dare. For if they do that, then they have to fight, and let us say they would have a bad, very bad uh, relationship with uh, with Arabian countries, who they are big customers. Trump, he is not worried about his customers because he control them. Europe are worried because they are weak. Arab customers to USA is not a choice for them to be customers or not. USA is protecting Saudi Arabia, is protecting Emirates, protecting Bahrain, protecting Qatar, all of them, the, uh, uh, Jordan, even Turkey. You see, uh, Trump, he make a tweet, Turkey economic collapse. Just a tweet. 
So Trump, because he is super powerful and he knew that he is in a job which nobody can have, not like Obama. Obama, when he went to Saudi Arabia, he bowed down to the king of Saudi Arabia because he don't fit for the job and he humiliated USA. And this is why even those Saudi, when he came, two men, they went to meet him in the airport. Let me find you the video so you will laugh. Imagine two men, they were waiting for a president of USA in the airport. You believe it? Two men, president of USA, two men, they, they wait for him in the airport? <laughs> Have you ever heard of such a thing? And I will tell you why. They did not care for him. Number one, Arab are racist. This guy is a black man. So how and what do you mean people will wait for him? So when he came to, to Saudi Arabia, nobody was waiting for him. The prince of the city and his assistant, they were there waiting for Obama. But when Trump, he went, when Trump, he went to see the king of Saudi Arabia. Guess what? Not only the king of Saudi Arabia was waiting there, 60 Muslim king and president. 60. They were there saluting the king, Trump. While Obama, when he went there, he bowed down to the king of Saudi Arabia as if he is a puppy. Trump, he did not respect his job and he did not present himself as a president. The first thing Trump, sorry, I mean Obama, sorry. When Obama, he went to Egypt, the first trip, he starts speaking about the peaceful Islam and the prophet of Allah and Islam mean peace and Islam is amazing religion, etc. Okay, and after that, what happened? After your speech, what happened? Attack after attack after attack in USA, in Europe, etc. Because he told them, I will never do what my previous president did. If you attack me, I will go after you. He said clearly, there's no, we don't want to have war with anyone. Go ahead and attack us. And then the attacks start coming like crazy. And Syria collapsed in the hands of ISIS because of the help of Obama. You see, when you have a president, nobody respect him. Nobody respect you too. Since Trump, he came to the office, who dare to disrespect Trump? And this is why when he went to Saudi Arabia or he go to any country, they prepare for his visit as never happened before. Because nobody want to make his majesty upset for if, he's fought, if he fought at them, they will disappear. All the country of Saudi Arabia is protected because of Trump, because of USA. Qatar itself is nothing. It's just a little tiny country. If not the USA army there, they will not have a chance to be there in the office. The Saudi actually, they were preparing to take them uh, uh, to take the country in 24 hours. So, always, always, <clears throat> we notice that when somebody uh, uh, is strong, and somebody, he prove himself, uh, let us say the gates of hell will open against him. Trump is not politically correct. He say things as it is, and actually this is why he won the election. Trump, he did not win the election because he say, uh, you know, sugar coated stuff. This guy, he speak things as it is. He tweet things as it is. He don't care what people say. If you watch his tweets, you will see his, this guy, his tweet is like, a, <laughs> is like a bear hitting the face of somebody. He don't care who is going to like it, who don't like it.
and this is the reason actually he won the election because people are sick of lies and perfectly correct speeches ladies and gentlemen and then we knew the rest the fact is that everybody is watching for a treat a treat from Trump that is telling you how much this man he wasn't having it you know before the president if you want to make a speech you have to invite everybody or TV stations and then we hear him so TV stations were important and this is why actually CNN and many TV stations they hated him CNN now the viewers of CNN is less than 900,000 in the top hour 900,000 that's nothing they are dying all of this because Trump he will never speak to them Trump now he don't need TV stations he have his own media it's Twitter everybody is waiting for his tweet what will say next what is the sanctions he will do what is the move he will he, he will do look what he says here <clears throat> ISIS used the internet better than almost anyone but for all of those uh, uh, susceptible to ISIS propaganda they are now being beaten badly <laughs> at every level <laughs> I like it I mean this guy is very natural he say things as it is I mean look here there's not he's you know he posts like he as if he is a high school guy he is not the president this is a this is a post this is a post from somebody you you might think maybe he is a high school person but in the same time it's extremely serious uh <clears throat> And here he again he speak uh, about ISIS oh hold on if you remember once a uh, Trump he said I think Islam hate us I don't know if you remember that Trump he said I think Islam hate us I don't know if you remember what the media did with that with that statement Anyone remember? CNN, the mid of that statement where Trump he said that, where he said, I think Islam hate us, they made him a hate monger. He is a beast, he is disgusting, he is filthy, he is a liar. This is not true. Islam does not hate us. Anything happen in the world, they accuse a Trump for it. The fact is, Islam hate us. Why you are being a liar, media? Yes, Islam hate us. The Quran says it clearly. You cannot even take a Christians and Jews as a friends. The Quran says it clearly that Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. Yes, Islam hate us. Will he die? I mean, when somebody says something, what about we discuss with him why he is saying that? What about we prove him wrong? But making an article about how he spread hate, he is dividing people. He is not dividing people. Islam hates us. He say it or he don't say it, it doesn't matter. When you have a religion and the followers of this religion believe that Allah supply and divide the Christian and he spread hatred between them. If you are against hatred, why don't you talk about it? When you have a religion, it says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends, for they are your enemies. And if you take them as a friends, you are one of them. You are evil. You are unjust. You are disgusting. Just for taking a friend, he is a Christian. Who is though? Why? Why? Where did Trump he lie when he said, I think Islam hate us? This is Islam. Take not Christian and Jews as friends. So what is that love? 
If a Trump, he says, take not Hindus, Buddhas, etc. as a friends, what you will say about him? You will say, oh, this is, hey, disgusting. So why you don't say the truth? He did not lie. So when he said Islam hate us, the media went so crazy, and the guy is a hater, he spread hate, he is disgusting, he is a bad person. No, he is saying the truth. The whole book from the beginning, the first page in the Quran says, please Allah, don't make us the same as the, the, the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. The prayer which the Muslim, they pray five times a day. Quran chapter 9 verse 29 says kill them kill the Christians kill the Jews unless they pay jizya which means pay or die or convert to Islam why in this world if you say the truth people they make you look bad Washington Post CNN people.com Facebook uh, care here, Islam hate us. The cancel of East American Muslims. Okay, care. Did he lie? By the way, care is is established by a terrorist from Hamas. Care, Muslim leaders demand that Donald Trump apologize for Islam hate claim. Why he apologized? No, we will not apologize, and this is the truth. Islam hate us. Prove us wrong. Prove us wrong. Isn't the Quran consider us pagans, infidels, dirty, nudges, filthy, worst of the creatures, deaf and blind? Allah He sealed our heart. We are the worst of the creatures. We will go to hell. The Muslims have to fight us. They have to kill us. Chapter 9, verse 29. Chapter 5, verse 51. Chapter 5, verse 14. And you name it. Even Islam don't allow Muslims to take their own family as a friend. So why you need apology? Hypocrite liars. Yes, Islam hate us. If this is if this is not hate, what is hate? When your prophet he says that the Muslims will kill every single Jew in this earth, is that hate or this is a freedom of speech? Hmm? Not only that, he says that time will come and the Jews they will try to hide from the Muslim. The Muslim will kill the Jews. Let us show you the the uh, the reference. Read carefully. The Messenger of Allah in the last hour, he said the last hour would not come unless the Muslims will fight to kill the Jews. Here the word fight, it says yuqatil, qatil, which means fight to kill, not just fight like by uh, zucchinis, against the Jews and the Muslim will kill them, which means kill them all until the Jews would hide, a Jew, he would hide, trying to hide himself from the Muslims. The Muslims are everywhere after him. Would hide himself behind a stone or a tree. Behind what? Behind a stone or a tree. And then the stone and the tree. Look, look how much hatred. The stone and the tree would say. The stone would talk. Yes, and the tree would talk. And what will say? Muslims, Abdul, Mujahideen. Come, there is O servant of Allah, there is a Jew here behind me, kill him. So why you are saying that Trump he did lie when he said Islam hate us? Or maybe because they are Jews it's okay to kill them? Hmm?
Oh, oh, Mujahideen, Christian Prince behind me, come and kill him. And why Christian Prince is behind you, Stone? Maybe he's pissing there. And yet they say that when Trump, he said Islam hate us, he is a hate monger. And right away, when those left-minded Democrat, they made a Muslim became a Congresswoman, two of them, they start cursing the Jews. The Jews are bad. The Jews are disgusting. And the reason, by the way, she is saying the Jews because she cannot say the Christians; otherwise, she will be taken off in a day. They will, they will impeach her. They will take her off from the office. So now, what we go? We go after the minority, the Jews. But if somebody can do that to the Jews, he would do it to you. Right now, they are minority. They can do it to you. But if they are majority, they will do it to you. Imagine if the Congress of USA, if the President of USA became a Muslim and everybody became a Muslim. What would happen to the world? The first thing would happen, they, the, 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 the American Muslims, they would threat any country in the world. Either you convert to Islam or else. And this is the letter Muhammad he sent. Muhammad he said, that Muslims are the best of mankind. If you remember what Muhammad said, right? He's a fascist man. Muhammad, he claimed that the Muslims have a duty and the best of mankind are the Muslims. The rest are just uh, numbers. We are just numbers. He said, the verse, uh, chapter 3, verse number uh, uh, 110, that you are the best ever of mankind for the benefit of mankind okay what is the what is the benefit the Muslim will do for mankind means the best of mankind for the people you bring them with the chain on their necks till they embrace Islam and yet you are saying to us Islam does not hate us somebody he loves you he bring you with the chain in your neck Is that the love you are trying to uh, promote for us? If this is not hate, so what is hate? And the funny they are saying that there is people they are Islamophobic. Islamophobic? Who is the one who have a phobia? It's the Muslims. They have a duty, they think they have a phobia that everyone else is dirty and he is equal to a dog so we can put a leech around his neck. Anyone is not a Muslim is not equal to Muslims. This is why the Quran says you are the best of mankind. And why they are the best of mankind? Because they are in charge of the animals, which is supposedly us. What the charge they will do? They will bring you in the chain around your neck. If this is not fascism, what is fascism? So they lie to you, they say, oh, uh, uh, Trump, he did lie when he says Islam hate us. The fact, yes, Islam hate us. Islam hate every section of, of a human being. I mean, okay, you are, you are a left, you are a gay. Okay, go and see what the gay punishment in Islam. You are a lesbian, go and see what the, what the, what the punishment for a lesbian. You are a feminine, go and see what the punishment of a feminine. Muhammad, he said that a woman, she dressed like a man. Allah, he hate her and he will, he will, let me show you the reference. <laughs> Muhammad, he have a curse for everybody. Everybody have a curse. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. The hadith. Uh. Do you have a tattoo? Do you have a tattoo? Allah, he curse you. Do you pluck a hair from your face? Allah, he will burn you alive. Do you make a space between your teeth? 
for beautification change in what Allah he made of you Allah will torture you do you see it let us see more By the way, even if you put even if you put uh, a perfume, according to Muhammad, you are a whore. The Prophet has cursed the lady who lengthened her hair. What? If you add little hair to you, what if you are bald? I mean, what what is the problem with Allah if you add some hair to your hair? Why Allah is upset? Oh, you changed the way Allah He made you look like. Okay, so why you do circumcision then? I mean, look how stupid. Muhammad himself, he asked the Muslim to do circumcision. If you are against changing the way Allah, he made you look like, okay, if Allah is God and he made you with that piece in your penis, why you cut it off? Then why Muhammad was coloring his hair red? He want to be, he want to be KKK. Isn't that changing the way Allah, he made you? So why the women, she cannot add hair and she is a woman, but you can color your hair and make it red. Look at this. The women who supply fake hair and the one who ask for it, Allah, is, Allah curse her. The women who pulls out hair for other people and the women who uh, uh, depletes herself, the women who tattoo and the woman who has done that, when uh, 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 when there's no dis disease to justify, which means tattoo, like burning, the Arab, they used to burn you, you know, if there is a disease. Uh, Abu Dawood uh, said, Wasil Amin, women she add hair, uh, uh, false hair to her hair. Mustawsil Amin, the one who asks for adding hair to the hair. Nami Samin, the women who block hair from her brow, from, from, from her uh, from eyebrows, until it's make it thin. So if you do that, if you, okay, so look at this. If a woman she take hair from her face, Allah will curse her. So the only way to make Allah happy if you have a beard. So do Islam hate us? Women are women are equal to dogs in Islam. So look like Islam not only hate Christians and Jews Islam you know teach hate against everybody Muhammad he says three things will disturb a Muslim prayer an ass and a woman and a black dog here you notice that Muslim women get so lucky actually not only women Muslim women this is all women supposedly ass and the women and the black dog which is will destroy your prayer because they are filthy dirty those are the most worth creatures for Allah you are praying they walk behind you they walk beside you they walk in the front of you your prayer is not accepted no more so how the Abdul they pray in the park Abdul when Abdul they make a show and they go in the park or in the airport there's millions of women walking walk in the front of you And then, because Muhammad is a racist, he hates black color. They, he says the black, you know, he, he ordered to kill the black dog. They ask him, what feature the narrator, who is the companion of the Prophet, supposedly, uh, uh, the guy asked him, what feature is the black dog which is distinguish him uh, 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 or distinguish it from a red dog or yellow dog? He said, oh, my son, I ask Allah Messenger, the same as you asked me, which means what distinguish the black dog from the rest? He says, he is the black dog, is the devil. Now, who is the one who have a phobia? The phobia of the black color. Just because the dog is a black, he is the devil. Hmm? Just because the poor dog is a black.
This is the best Muhammad he was able to come with. I mean, obviously, this is so much wise. Let me introduce to you a black dog or the enemy of Allah. Okay, I just found the enemy of Allah and uh, let me introduce to you uh, the most dangerous animal for Allah which Allah he consider him the devil and actually I have to agree that he is kind of a devilish dog I mean look at this guy how dangerous he is look at this guy look look at this guy I mean be honest uh, was was Muhammad saying the truth or not isn't it obvious that this guy is the devil be honest be honest I mean, can't you be honest, Christians, Jews, Hindus, atheists, Buddhas, whatever you are, for a minute? All your lifetime you are a liar. Now you cannot be honest. Look at him. Obviously, he is the devil. And look, he is challenging Allah. He's looking up. How disgusting. How dare you to lift your head in front of Allah? Put your head down. Or, or what about this one? Hold on, let me show you the other one. I like the other one too. The other one, it was a female black dog, but obviously it doesn't matter really. It's a male dog or not. As long as he's black, Allah, he hate him. Look at this uh, female dog going party. I mean, disgusting. This is the enemy of Allah. The God who made the universe who created this billions and trillions of stars, he is worried about this little tiny creature. This is the enemy of Allah. And I have to agree, I mean, obviously, he is the enemy of Allah. They are the same size and they are the same quality. Both they have sharp teeth. Hmm? And look, this dog not only is the enemy of Allah, she is putting makeup too. Do you see this hat trying to tempt you to go take you to hell? What? I mean, Allah, he don't lie. Black dog is the devil. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. It looked like he just, he, he, he just lost the lotto. He bought the lotto. He did not win. Allah don't lie, my friend. He is telling the truth. This is the enemy of Allah. So Islam not only hate us, Islam hate animals, Islam hate dogs, Islam, I mean, the Prophet of Allah, he ordered to kill all the dogs. And then when people, they complain, he switched it, he said, okay, only the black dogs. Yeah, I agree. Dogs, they have a special sensation so they can feel if you have somebody is evil. So Muhammad, he noticed that dogs hate him. For he's an evil person. Look at this guy. I mean, obviously, look what he is doing. Oh, look at this. I mean, how Muhammad will be nice to the dogs. Look at this dog. Look. Look what he's doing. He's making fun of the prophet and his tongue is coming out. And he's black. And what he is doing is swing thing. The prophet is, law, is right. I mean, look at this. This guy, obviously, he is challenging Allah. This is what he is doing to Allah. Look, you know, this is the devil. Think about it a different way. He, the prophet said, this is the devil. And the devil now, his tongue is out and he is in the swing and he's playing. What does that mean? He, he's, he's saying, I don't care. <laughs> this is the enemy of Allah. Where it says the dog, my friend, we, what we are talking about, he just said to you, the dogs are the devil. Isn't it the devil an enemy of Allah? I mean, aren't you reading, my friend? Don't you see? He said, the black dog is the devil. 
Uh, if you are not wearing your glasses, what your glasses? They ask him, what's wrong with the black dog? Muhammad, he says, Why? Because they are at the devil. Kill every black, pure black animal. Do you see it? So what do you mean where it says uh, uh, the enemy of Allah? He's, he just said to you, he is shaitan himself. I ask Allah Messenger SAW about all the black dogs. He said, it is a devil. All of the black dogs are the devil. So when Trump, he said, Islam hate us. Islam not only hate mankind, Islam hate animals. Islam teach violence against even a poor, stupid dog. So now we need to kill the dogs. Not only that, Muhammad, he says, if you kill a lizard, lizard, even lizard, they are not safe because of Islam. Who remember what Muhammad, he said? Who remember, who, who remember what Muhammad said about lizard? If you kill a lizard from the first bow, from the first arrow, Allah will give you a 100 blessing. If you give, kill him from the second arrow, Allah will give you the half, etc. I mean, even lizard, guy go. The guy go is the enemy of Allah. Let me introduce to you the enemy of Allah. <laughs> I mean, uh, Umm Sharik reported that Allah Messenger. <coughs> Sorry commanded her to kill the Jaikos. This hadith has been transmitted as 30, etc. Okay, let's see. Uh, Amir, blah, 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 from the 30 of Hafazar. Okay, the Prophet, he commanded killing of the Jaikos and he called them little nexus creatures. Well, they are what? Look at, look at this hadith. Abu Huraira reported that Allah Messenger said, that he who killed the Jaiko with first stroke, there are 70 rewards for him, 70 version. Here we go. You will get 70 vagina for killing a Jaiko. Now let me introduce to you, please, His Majesty, Mr. Jaiko, which is Allah is so worried about him. I mean, we need to know who is Mr. Jaiko, how, why he's so dangerous. I found you one. And obviously, he is extremely, extremely dangerous. Now, even this one is the enemy of Allah. Hmm? Oh, let me find you another one. More dangerous. Now, look at this guy. This is the same as the guy who appeared in the commercial. Literally like him. Ladies and gentlemen, the enemy of Allah. Jaco, I don't know. I mean, you know, for me, I pronounce it as I like. I am the same as Allah. Both of us, we do not know English. <laughs> so, I mean, this religion is a stupid religion. I mean, even little tiny animal cannot leave him alone. So the Muslim now, they are doing jihad. You see, if a Muslim, he kill me, he will not get 70 time reward. But if he kill this little tiny animal, Allah will give him 70 reward. Now, anyone knows why Allah want to kill this animal? What is the problem with this animal? Who, who knows? Anyone knows? 
He tried to burn Abraham <laughs> with fire as if he's a dragon. I mean, this is a little tiny thing. So according to the Muhammad story, when they tried to burn Abraham, all the animals, they try to distinguish the fire except Mr. The, the lizard. Mr. Lizard, he's the only animal was blowing wind from a distance of a one mile away to burn Abraham. Look, the Prophet said that the Messenger of Allah said, S A W S, it's like this is like a Mercedes Benz, like you know, 500 or something. S -A -A -C -C -C. So, whoever kills a Jaiko on one strike, he is he has such and such a reward, and if he kill it in second strike, he will have such and such a reward, and if he kill it in the third strike then he has such and such a reward so look at this allah he have a law in heaven he have a law he have like a list okay my beloved servant of allah i am allah worship me now if you kill this jago if you kill him from the first shot i will give you a 70 version if you kill them from the second shot which means the first one did not succeed you shot the second one i will give you 35 vagina if you kill them from the third one, I will give you 12 and a half. Hmm? Yeah, don't remind me of the salamander story. Yeah, the salamander is very dangerous, you know. You know, Muhammad, when he speak about things, he speak only about dangerous stuff. No? Allah Apostle, told he ordered to kill the salamander. Nothing is safer from Muhammad. Why? Because, i.e., the salamander blew the fire on Abraham. <laughs> salamander, stop, salamander. Salamander, you are burning Abraham. Salamander, why you are doing that, man? The salamander, he is doing this. How evil you are, salamander. How disgusting you are, salamander. Shame on you, salamander. Okay, let us say for the sake of fun, Salamander, one of the salamander upon the time he tried to do that, which is a very funny story. Why you want to kill the salamander today? <laughs> oh, those are his grandson. And guys, do you know how big the salamander is? I mean, that's really something. The salamander. I mean, this guy, he was burning Abraham. If, 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 if. I'm going to call the insurance company and I want to ask them to add to my house insurance, salamander insurance. Because what, what do you think? What if a salamander enter your house and start a fire? Hmm? I want every one of you to open his insurance policy for his car, for his house, whatever you have, and check if they have a band for sedimentary insurance. All right, guys, the one who is an ex-Muslim is more than welcome, and whatever, you know, everybody is welcome here. So, as you see, I mean, Trump, he did not lie. He is sharing the truth. But these days, if you share the truth, people go against you. If you want not to be accused to be Islamophobia, you have to shut your mouth. So the Islamophobia propaganda is just to shut anyone he say the truth. I challenge anyone, Abdul or non-Abdul, left or right, a crazy or 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 have a brain to prove us wrong isn't it? this is a, this is a hate i mean even hate about little tiny animals we should kill them why so human we kill women we kill 
gays we killed, lesbian we killed, atheist we killed, Hindu we killed, uh, 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 Buddha we killed, who is left? Dogs we kill, salamander we kill, Jigo we kill. Who, I mean, who is safe from Islam? Oh, I forgot to tell you that one of the biggest enemy to Allah is a black man. Uh, I forgot to tell you that the biggest enemy for Allah is a pig. Pig? According to Muslims, Jesus the Christ will come in the judgment day before the judgment day and he is going to have a war with Mr. Pig. And for sure, brother, Jesus the Christ will win against the pig. And look, by the way, I have to agree, he's very dangerous. All the enemies of Allah are scary. And they are big in size. So Isa, the Muslim Isa, he will come before the judgment day and he will have two guns in his right side. And we will hear like a cowboy music. And then the big will say to Isa, Hey, I am the enemy of Allah. I challenge you for a fight. And then the pig will turn his back and Isa will turn his back. And then on the sign, I think the Muslim Isa, because always they cheat, he will turn his back first and he will shoot the pig before the pig turn his face. This is the enemy of Allah. Allah have a phobia because of this little tiny pig. In case you do not know, pigs, they save the life of millions of people every day. Every day. Millions of people, their life is saved by pigs. In case you do not know, insulin, most of it is made from pigs. In case you do not know, the stitches the doctors, they do to you when you have a surgery, is made from pigs. In case you do not know, most of lift sticks, women they use, it coming from pigs. So you, Abdul, when you kiss your wife, guess what? You are kissing a very beautiful pig. <laughs> Let me tell you the story before we go. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I was uh, like, uh, I used to work, uh, uh, you know, like uh, a government work with the army. This is after I finished my uh, service. Uh, there's a Abdul, he go out with me for lunch because simply uh, we have like, uh, you know, I'm a Middle Eastern, so, you know, he go out with me. He don't speak good English. So each time I go to, to eat, he go out with me. And each time we go to the restaurant, he says, he says, not me. He asks for his the menu. Uh, he asks the waiter or the waitress, do you have halal uh, pork? Halal what? Halal pork. I laugh, the waiter laugh, everybody laugh, and we, you know, okay, funny. And actually, actually, I thought like he's, he, you know, he's making fun of Islam, you know, I don't care. But he's a Muslim, by name. Then one day, he asked me, what are you eating? So I said to him in Arabic, khanzir. He said, what? You are eating khanzir, which means pork. I said, what's wrong with you, idiot? Oh, why you are upset? He said, how you eat khanzir? I said, you are eating khanzir too, you donkey? He said, no. I said, yeah, you are eating khanzir for the last six months, you idiot. Aren't you each time the waiter, the waiter or the waiters come, you say to them, I want halal pork? And they laugh. He said, yeah. He said, do you know what pork, you idiot? He said, no. I said, khanzir. So the stupid, he do not know that pork, he thinks like pork is like a kind of, it's like he's saying meat, you know, like halal meat. He do not know that pork is a, is a pig. So he was eating pig for the last six months and he called it halal pork. And he was like, what? You are eating khanzir? I said, you are eating khanzir right now. He said, no way, where? He said, this one in front of you, you just ask for it. <laughs> And how many times he said, wow, it looks so, it is so good, man. I like it. I said, sure, it's halal pork. <laughs> Each time he said, this dish looks it is so good. I say, yeah, but sure, because it's halal pork. And for me, I thought he is making fun of Islam because he's a Muslim. And he is saying that, I mean, there's no way a Muslim will say halal pork. <laughs> Unless he's making fun. Anyway, I hope that one day we will make victory against the enemy of Allah. Mr. Pig. 
and we will able to destroy him brother and obviously brother this is the most dangerous for Allah so please put into your consideration that we need to prepare for war against pigs look at this guy I mean look at this guy he is looking at you obviously he is the enemy of Allah There's a Muslim in YouTube, I don't know if you watch his video, he's a doctor from Gaza, from Hamas terrorist. He was trying to prove to us that pigs, they are the Jews. So he said, <laughs> I'm serious, because the Quran says, Allah, he transformed the, the Jews into pigs. So he was saying, if you, if you notice, if you notice, uh, how many of you saw the video? How many of you remember it? Anyone remember? And the coward, after I made the video against him, he flagged it in YouTube. I mean, you are the one saying that. But anyway, if you notice, brothers and sisters, if you notice, pigs, they have a very dirty, savage behavior. As an example, the only animals in the world that eat their feces is pigs. And supposedly now he's trying to prove to us that they are Jews. How he prove to us they are Jews? Because they eat their feces. <laughs> and the pig is the only animal who eat his feces. Are you sure, Abdul? <laughs> uh, you can search right now. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can search for the video for you. You guys are lazy. You are not doing your homework. Uh <clears throat> I think the video was called why Allah forbid eating swine here we go I found you the video search for this Allah forbids eating pigs Actually, I, I think this guy who has copied this video, he is copying my video. Who wanna copy it? Let me pause the video for you. Please download it and post it in your page. This is a this is an old video, by the way. You know, this is an old video, maybe more than 12, 13 years ago. Maybe some of you is not born yet. Here we go. Allah forbid eating. Pigs, because if you eat a pig, you eat a Jew. <laughs> oh boy! Actually, this is here is the original video. Let me let me put him in the screen for you. <clears throat> this is here, the original video, and he have like a link or on miracle. Why Allah, God, forbids eating the flesh of a swine? This is one of the most hilarious crazy videos you can ever see in the internet and by the way nobody flag him this video is there for 12 years i made a video about his video he flagged me immediately <laughs> watch it and and laugh and by the way he wanted to prove to us that uh, uh, the jews are pigs and monkeys so he said as an example brother the only animals you think you see he have sex with his mother is monkeys <laughs> no i think it says pigs <laughs> any only animals who have sex with his mother <laughs> i cannot play it they will flag it for copyright this is what i wish i can play islamic videos don't you notice i am not playing their videos <clears throat> Hmm? Maybe this one is uh, is my video too. All right, <laughs> a brother, a brother. If you eat a pig, you are eating a Jew, according to this guy. Oh, according to Allah. Sorry. She, uh, <clears throat> a famous sheikh from Al Azhar University, saying, "Muhammad is Allah." <coughs> Sorry guys, the problem is with making videos, I have to use their videos. And if I use their video, if I post it in my YouTube, they will flag it. So I can make a video and I post it maybe in Minds.com, Minds, you know. But the problem is most of you did not subscribe to Minds. 
you know, we keep asking people, why you don't subscribe to mine? Please subscribe to mine. But nobody is listening. You see it? Subscribe. We can pause there a video up to 15 minutes. It's a good backup. Good to have it. And you will never lose contact with me. That is a conservative uh, uh, site. Uh, and by the way, it's getting really big. I mean, those guys are trying to compete with Facebook. So subscribe to the account there and join us. All right. Anyway, I'm not going to stay longer. I just wanted to share this video with you. I'm not going to keep it ready. Uh, just uh, I wanted to share some news and some thought about what's happening. So it's not worth it to download. But always think about this. When somebody, he side with Islam, he cannot be truthful. As simple as that. And when Islam side with somebody, that's the same. He cannot be truthful. Because there is no way people have been taught to go against any human being who is not a Muslim. They will side with you unless there is something wrong in what you do or what you say. If they say Christian Prince, God bless you. If ISIS, they say Christian Prince, God bless you. That means Christian Prince is a corrupt man. And they are playing taqiyya. I am serving their propaganda. There is no way they will say bless you unless you are serving their agenda. As simple as that. So never sponsor them. Never take their side. If you have an election in your country, ask first. Is the Islamist sponsoring him? If they are sponsoring him, it's mean he's a bad person. As simple as that. At least he's bad for you as non-Muslim. They will never sponsor somebody. He believe in democracy. He believe in the freedom of speech. He believe in the human rights. They will never do that. You people who they are from Indonesia, you know what happened to a Christian mayor of Jakarta. He just they start accusing him he is insulting Islam and they put him in jail just because he's a Christian as simple as that they could not believe that the Christian became a mayor of a, of a majority Islamic city All right we know them if he is a corrupt if you praise Allah if you praise Satan if he support uh, human uh, slaughtering, if he support women killing, if he support uh, all the agenda of Islam, then he will be a good person. Anyway, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And with this, we finish. And remember always, the truth will set you free. And nothing better than his name. His name is the Messiah, the Christ. And nothing like his name. He is our Lord. He is our He is our our, our uh, uh, guidance. He is our Savior. He is the one which even Islam don't dare, don't dare to speak against him in public because they knew who is he. In the Middle East, you will never find somebody he dare to call himself the Messiah. No Muslim will dare to do that. There's only one Messiah, my friend. But in the Middle East, there's millions of people, their name is Muhammad. But nobody there in the Middle East, in the heart of Islamic countries, dare to say, I want to call my son the Messiah. Or I am, my name is the Messiah. Nobody there. For his name is unique for his God. With this, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you and enter. We'll see you soon again. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. Thank you very much.